What's up gamers, crossers if you will. I'm really excited for today's video because it's actually in collaboration with a bunch of other YouTubers who I look up to and admire so much. Myself and seven other amazing content creators each got to pick out one item, compile it in a list, and we all have to make a build with all of those items. Crazy town, I know. I was under the impression that we were gonna do a kind of cutesy aesthetic build, kind of like, think of Nova Lights or Country Fence. That's what I was thinking we were gonna do, but everyone came up with a bunch of eclectic and interesting items. <laughs> just, just let me show you, let me show you. First up, Console Kato came up with Imperial Dining Table. Very interesting choice. Second up, we have Toffee with the Frozen Sculpture. Shannon, Kiyubi Crossings, brought in the Karopi Bridge, one of my personal favorite items. Diana threw in the Floating Block, and I'm not gonna lie, this one was hard for me to place. I don't know why, I just like, I couldn't find a way to use it, so yikes. Uh, sorry, Diana. <laughs> this one was hard, though. Lex Plays came up with Asteroid. EJ Plays with the Elephant Slide. Last but not least, me, Carp Banner. I decided to throw in Carp Banner because um, I thought it would be kind of difficult. Now that we know what all of the items are, I want to show you what I built with them. And Loki, I'm kind of curious to know what would you do with them? I already know what I did, but I want to know what you would do. All right, y'all, it is my time to shine. So going into this with that list of items, I kind of thought, Chinese restaurant. That was my first thought, so I just went with it. With the Imperial Dining Table, I thought that we could do like a dim sum type of situation, and then I kind of thought, you know, since there's a bidet, maybe a restroom, so why not make a restaurant out of it when life gives you lemons? I'm not really one to make restaurants or like cafes or anything, so this was a fun little adventure for me, a little bit out of my comfort zone. I'm also just like excited to do this collab with everybody. Um, I look up to all of these content creators so much, so if you could go check out their videos, report back, let me know what they did with their speed builds. I'm so freaking excited to see everything that they did. But yeah, this build ended up being a lot bigger than I thought that it was gonna be as well, cause you know me, like go big or go home. <laughs> but yeah, I kept adding on different kind of things that I wanted to do. Um, I had to grow a bunch of bamboo, you know what I mean, in the different stages that I wanted. So that took a while. I threw up an incline and I put in a bridge, you know, in the build. I don't know what I was thinking. I just kind of got into depth decorator mode. Loki, that doesn't happen to me anymore. I'm so excited. With Animal Crossing, I had been feeling really burnt out for a second there, so it's really cool to have this brand new excitement for the game. Don't know where it came from, to be totally honest. I think it was just from starting a Normcore island and doing a whole brand new save. That's just me. I, I don't know. I, it could be something else. You know, maybe I could just be bored with everything else that I'm doing. <laughs> I am gonna have to tear it down, um, because it doesn't really match my theme, but it's okay. Okay. I was thinking like, oh, it'd be cool to include it into my final DA, but I am not going to do that because it's not very normcore-y. For the sake of aesthetic, we've it's just gotta go. It's gotta go. I'm also a little bit worried about this. Um, I don't know if I cheated. I don't know why it's always me. I always feel like I'm doing something wrong, but I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do whatever color scheme that I wanted with these items. I'm sure that we'll figure it out. Once we watch everyone's videos, we'll figure it out. But um, <laughs> I didn't realize until I was editing that like, oh my gosh, I just used whatever elephant slide that I wanted and I used whatever Imperial dining table that I wanted. I hope nobody's mad and I hope everybody else just did the same thing. But yeah, um, if I did cheat, I am so, so sorry. <laughs> that was sincere, by the way. I know I rolled my eyes and I'm not going to redo it because then it won't be sincere if I say sorry a second time. So yeah. The first thing that I thought to put into the build was the frozen sculpture. And that's because I customized it to green and then threw it up near some of my like more natural elements, the bamboo kind of trees. We have basically right now a natural little walkway up to an incline and then it leads up to a bridge and over the bridge is where the restaurant's gonna go. So I was like, okay, well in these kind of like natural parts, like it'd be kind of cool to have this ice sculpture feature. I originally thought like it would look really cool in the restaurant portion, but 
I didn't want the restaurant portion to be too large. I would have definitely had to make it a lot bigger um, than my vision allowed for it to be in order to put the ice sculpture in the restaurant. You know, like how like fancy parties and movies have ice sculptures. But yeah, putting it in the natural area just made the most sense to me. Plus there's also the other ice things, you know, the ice pillars and stuff like that, that I included just to make it a little more cohesive and match with the ice sculpture. When it's by itself, it might look a little strange. Um, so why not just add more ice things? The next item that I thought to incorporate was the asteroid. And I also put this in the natural kind of walkway squiggly path area. It looks like a rock, okay? <laughs> it just looks like a magical floating rock. So I thought, hey, let's just throw a bunch of other rock items into the mix and maybe it'll look cool and it'll pull itself together. <laughs> Once I was done with making that natural rocky type of area a little bit nicer, I started on the restaurant portion and I laid down some flooring that I thought looked nice at first, but I did end up changing it because it kind of looked a little roofy to me. I don't know if you kind of get that vibe, but it just didn't really feel like it was meant for the floor necessarily. So um, I played around with a bunch of little paths and trees and tried to map out, okay, this is where the bathroom's gonna go, where I'm gonna house the bidet, laying things down, just putting things wherever I thought that they needed to go. And then it was kind of a dilemma of like, okay, what imperial dining table am I gonna use? And when I saw the brown on brown, which was my original vision, I kind of thought like, ooh, that's a little, you know, too much brown, too much brown going on. I wanna add a little bit of pop, add some color. So I ended up going with the red imperial dining table. We're just winging it here, okay? That's what crossing is about. <laughs> Moved on to the bathroom, threw it together. I just threw in like the little Karopi hallway thing. I thought it kind of looked like a wall. I had the idea to add like the Cypress bathtub, um, even though you wouldn't really take a bath at a restaurant, whatever. I thought it looked nice. It helped fill up the space because my other solution was to order like a bunch of bidets and toilets and screens to like separate them. And I thought maybe that'll look like a little too cluttered. Maybe it'd just be nice to have mm, something else. And I already had a Cypress bathtub, so I was like, Score, there we go. Okay, and then I went ahead and moved on to my brilliant idea of doing a <laughs> carp shrine. Now, you might think like, is carp even a good fish? Like, why would you have a whole shrine dedicated to the carp? My answer is the carp banner. <laughs> I was like, I could just throw this somewhere. You know, I could just throw it in like the natural part of the build, say F it, call it a day. And then I kind of thought, well, why not do something a little more fun? Let's just make like a little carp shrine. I don't know. <laughs> so I put the carp flag and then like the little casket with the gold and put a carp model on top and added a couple little bell offerings to the bottom because why the heck not? I've been playing too much Assassin's Creed and those little god and goddess shrine things are like everywhere so I don't know I thought it would be a cute idea that carp banner was down I'm so curious to know like if it tripped anybody else up um, if they had to get kind of like creative with using it I didn't know what to do for such a long time and it kind of just like hit me I was like all right let's do it let's go crazy the elephant slide kind of ruined my life um until I got to this point and I was like, let's just build a tiny park. Maybe there would be like a play place at the restaurant, but since it's kind of like an outdoor restaurant, I decided to make it a park outside. What the heck? Why not? So I threw up the elephant slide. It wasn't that bad. And then I don't think I filmed the part where I placed the floating block. I kind of thought like, oh, let me just hide it and make it not obvious. So I had to find a good spot to do that without completely hiding it. Cause then I was like, well, is that kind of like cheating if you can't even see it? But no, I ended up putting the floating block kind of over just randomly you can kind of see it i think maybe also the restaurant only has uh one table and it is what it is it's just it's really exclusive and you have to reserve way ahead of time to eat at this restaurant okay welcome this is the walkthrough the finale natural looking areas i added a bunch of little random details just to kind of like round it out i thought Let's do early morning. Why the heck not? Looks cute. Love all the little lights from the frozen stuff. <laughs> and then once you head up the incline, we have the bridge that leads us kind of into our park restaurant type of section. Um, that's where all the kitties are gonna hang out while all the adults go and eat dinner over here at the one table, very exclusive restaurant. And then up at the top, if they so choose, they can go and make an offering to the carp. 
Uh, maybe he's the owner of the restaurant. That's a good idea. Maybe he would just be the owner of the restaurant or maybe he's the waiter and those are his tips. Anyways, uh, we have the Karopi bridge and then leading into the bathroom. I kind of went full spa mode on this one. I just ended up putting the Cypress bathtub and then a bathrobe because like, why not? And then the bidet back there looking good looking fabulous let me know what you think i'm very curious to know maybe what you would have done with this build if you had a different idea of maybe what it should look like let me know what your thoughts are in my last video we worked on part one of our normcore neighborhood that video is doing so well thank you guys for watching it and for all the support make sure you go and check that one out it's a good fun time and follow us on twitch twitch.tv slash finesse cross girl my other socials are down below if you're interested Interested. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video for part two of Normcore Neighborhood. I think. I don't know. No promises. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you next time.